Welcome to Crosstalk Solutions. My name's Chris, and this is Free PBX 101 version 15, part seven, where we're going to be setting up Let's Encrypt for secure HTTPS communication to our server. But first, if you are enjoying this series, make sure you give a like on this video and subscribe to Crosstalk Solutions for more videos just like this one. Both of those things are absolutely free and they really, really help out the channel. Also, follow Crosstalk Solutions on Twitter at CrosstalkSOL for the latest Crosstalk updates. And if you're just interested in buying me a beer, there's a link down in the description to do that as well. Okay, so why do we need Let's Encrypt on our server? Well, there are a number of reasons, but first and foremost, it's for secure HTTPS communication. Plus, there are a number of services such as WebRTC, Sangoma Zulu, Sangoma's Connect, Clearly Anywhere, all of these different applications require a good FQDN with a secure certificate installed in order to function properly. Now we use Let's Encrypt because Let's Encrypt is already built into FreePBX. It's super easy to set up and install, uh, but you can also use your own certificates as well. You don't have to use Let's Encrypt. So let's hop right into it. Here we are at the dashboard of FreePBX. Now this doesn't have anything to do with Let's Encrypt, but you see I have a few sort of notices down here at the bottom. We're just gonna clear all of those notices out. There's nothing that we really need to see. And then we're gonna click the refresh button and now we can see that there are no critical issues on our server. Okay, so the first thing that we wanna do is go to admin and then system admin, and we're gonna scroll down on the right until we get to port management. Now within port management, notice that Let's Encrypt is currently disabled. We do not have this enabled. We wanna talk about security here for a second because when we enable Let's Encrypt, we are enabling it on port 80. But notice that it doesn't let us do that because admin is already running on port 80. So what we need to do is change admin to something else. I'm gonna choose port 8080, and then we can choose port 80 for Let's Encrypt. And you might be saying, Chris, why do I have to have port 80 open? Isn't that insecure? And the answer is, well, not really, because we've moved the non-HTTPS GUI, so the regular HTTP GUI for FreePBX has now been moved to port 8080, which then of course you can just not allow through your corporate firewall, or you can choose to not allow it through the FreePBX firewall. And then for port 80, we do have to have port 80 open to the FreePBX, but the only thing that you can get to on port 80 is the Let's Encrypt service. It is literally only used for verifying Let's Encrypt and nothing else. The server cannot be compromised through port 80 by leaving it open for just Let's Encrypt. We're literally locking it down to just the files that Let's Encrypt needs to look at to verify that your server exists and it's at the correct FQDN. So change your admin port to something other than 80 and then set Let's Encrypt to port 80 and click update now. And now we want to go and make sure that Let's Encrypt has been opened up through the free PBX firewalls. So we're going to go to Connectivity Firewall. And then on the right hand tray, we want to choose Services. And then where it says Let's Encrypt, notice that it says this protocol is being managed by responsive Let's Encrypt rules. Disable responsive Let's Encrypt rules to manage the access here. So we don't need to manage it here. Let's click on those responsive Let's Encrypt rules. And it says, allows temporary internet zone access to the Let's Encrypt Acme Challenge folder during an active certificate update request. This should be enabled unless you wish, wish to manage Let's Encrypt access manually. It further goes on to say, note, Let's Encrypt will always send challenge queries to port 80. If this server is not listening on port 80, for instance, if you have port 80 blocked in a corporate firewall in front of FreePBX, certificate requests will fail unless an upstream firewall or proxy redirects requests to the server port. So that's great. Basically what this is telling us is that when we are renewing the Let's Encrypt certificate, it is going to temporarily open up port 80 to the free PBX and then close it back down once that certificate has been renewed, which is very secure. And then keep in mind, if your corporate firewall has port 80 port forwarded through to the free PBX, this rule is still in effect, right? So you can leave that port open all the time and then let FreePBX manage when to open and close port 80 for those Let's Encrypt renewals. 
Okay, so now we're gonna go to admin and then we wanna go to certificate management. And then notice all we have right now is our default self-signed certificate. So we're gonna say new certificate, generate let's encrypt certificate. And then here's our host name, which if you already set your host name in system admin, it's gonna pull that host name here. Then let's put in a, an email. So I'll say info at crosstalksolutions.com. We're gonna be in the United States and my state is Oregon. And then it says challenge over HTTP port 80. Let's go ahead and click generate certificate. Now, while this certificate is generating, notice what it says. Well, it already disappeared, <laughs> but it says this certificate will automatically regenerate every two months. So that's one of the other nice things about Let's Encrypt is once you've done this one time, you can basically set it and forget it and not have to worry about that certificate renewing because it's gonna happen automatically every two months or so. So now we have a valid certificate and what we wanna do here is check this so that the Let's Encrypt certificate is the default certificate for our server. So we're gonna check right there and we're gonna say, yes, we wanna make that the default. And now we have our Let's Encrypt certificate installed. But FreePBX is not yet using this Let's Encrypt certificate. So now let's tell FreePBX to use the new cert that we just generated. To do that, we're gonna go to Admin and then System Admin. And then on the right-hand menu, we wanna scroll down until we find HTTPS Setup. And then we wanna click on the Settings tab. And here we have Certificate Manager. We're gonna choose our Let's Encrypt certificate that we just generated. And we're gonna click Install. And there we go. So now we can see that the certificate on the server matches the certificate that we just installed. It's the testpbx.crosstalkzip.com with R3 as the certificate issuer. And now if we close this browser window and reopen it to HTTPS, and then our fully qualified domain name, we are redirected back to the dashboard, but notice that we now have a valid certificate up in the upper left-hand corner. We have successfully installed Let's Encrypt, and now we are good to go. Okay, that's gonna do it for Let's Encrypt installation on free PBX. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Crosstalk Solutions for the next video where we're gonna be talking about the backup and restore module. All right, we will see you guys in the next one.